I work with a girl who constantly has PMS at work. Uh-oh. How should I deal with her without upsetting her? Um, um, hide in a box. Um, lock yourself in the bathroom. Have a really long, have some really long toilet time. And then when you come out, um, wear a fake moustache and glasses and say you're someone else. Particularly if you are their girlfriend or husband. Um, even, I mean, you could go the other way and just be overly nice, but then you, that won't work. There's pretty much nothing you can do except hide. If you come out with the flowers, let's say Sally had PMS, and I came and I went, I was aware of it, and I'm like, Sally, hey, I just thought you were a little bit down, so I thought I'd just buy you a nice pot plant for you. She'd be like, what do you mean I'm a little bit down? Are you saying I'm acting like a bitch? And I'm like, no, no, Sally. Not at all. She's like, what do you mean? I'm, I'm just buying you a pop plant. You look a little bit down. I'm trying to cheer you up. Well, you can't assume anything. Get out of my sight. It's an ugly plant. It's Pete the pop plant. I know who that is. It's ugly. I'm like, I'm sorry, Sally. I'm just trying to do something nice. Get out of here. You make me sick. So it's not a good idea to, to even try and be nice. So um, just hide. Just hide. Get out of there. Get out of there. Wait for a few days, a full week just to be safe. And then come back and go, hey, is the uh, PMS? She goes, oh, yeah, that's all done. I was crazy. I, go, yeah, I know you were. They always know afterwards. At the time, they're like, you go, is this PMS? They go, no, it's not PMS. You are being a despicable human being. And you go, ah, oh, I'm sorry. I swear I'm in the right here. Oh, and, and then a week later, you go, remember that time? And they go, oh, yeah, I was totally, I had PMS. Sorry. Sorry. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. You just about cut my hand off. That was a full on moment. 